ChatGPT. What equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. Okay, I'm going to try to subtract one from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. So ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication. Because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3 and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay. So ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. So one of the key capabilities we're really excited to share with you today is real-time conversational speech. Let's just get a demo fired up. So I'm taking out a phone. If you are wondering about this wire, it's so we have consistent internet. And if you see, there's this little icon on the bottom right of the ChatGPT app. And this will open up GPT-40's audio capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? OK, here I go. Whoa, slow down a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in for a count of four. OK, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. Then yeah. for four, and then exhale slowly. OK, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. So Mark, you've been working on these capabilities for a while now. Can you tell us a bit how it's different from voice mode? Right. So if you've used our voice mode experience before, you'll notice a couple key differences. First, you know, you can now interrupt the model. You don't have to wait for it to finish your turn before you can start speaking, and you know, you can just butt in whenever you want. Second, the model is real-time responsiveness. That means that you don't have this awkward two to three second lag before you wait for the model to give a response. And finally, the model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of <laughs> running a little bit too fast. You know, it really has that capability across the board to perceive your emotion. Not only that, though, the model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles. And it really has a wide dynamic range. So I'm going to fire up another demo awesome. for that. Yeah. <laughs> 